<laughs> wow. That is quite the view. So we have five farms like this spread around the village. And on this farm we have three partners now. 90 cows, about uh, 360, 420 acres. Permanent land, natural pasture. So when they come to Bougueran, like from Pontarlier, they can go to shoot. <laughs> Take him and take him back. Take him back. <laughs> when I go to get the other cows, he does 100 meters into the field and then he stops. That's stupid. I don't believe it. Oh, he bless drinks you. so much milk. Oh, bless <laughs> you. The success of our Conte, one of the main successes is diversity. If we lose that diversity, that's it. Yeah. Where's the cow temperature, body temperature? Yeah. And guess. It's very close to us. 37. <laughs> Looking for 38. One more. Okay. So we take our meat to about 38 and we refresh. We don't pull down. We refresh words. Yeah. She's three days old. Can we give her a lot of food? Three days old. Oh my god. It's about 50 kilos the weight. No, it's not the right bottle. Yes? Oh, you can come, sorry. Oh, I got it all over your nose. Open your mouth. Oh, <laughs> this one drained it. Bless you. I can't believe they're only three days old. So usually, you be careful. With the cow, it's okay. With heifers, it's dreadful. If you leave the baby with the heifer for one night or for one day, drinking from her teeth, you have uh, the mother heifer backing oh, for uh, an entire oh. week for straining her meal and if it's a male sometimes they refuse to, to, to drink for two or three days mm. in particular if it's a male <laughs> When you come in, uh -huh. work with your sense. Okay. You take a breath, you take a deep breath, and you smell. And you will see you had smell on the dairy. Yeah. As you've been trained a little bit to taste Conte, but you can taste and be alert. That's why when we taste so often, it's easy to pick up some of the aromas because we smell and we identify. And just the old key is to identify, to stop one second and identify. Mm -hmm. And you will see all of a sudden the taste, the smell, and you try to identify what what does it tell you, the meaning for you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, cow cows. The hay wagon machine. Ryan, is it wow, look at that! Okay, is it real? Taz, he is. Oh. Okay, can you... <laughs> is Taz on there? He is. Where? Yeah, he's in it. Oh. Yeah. He's turned into a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> there he comes. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Mm, it smells good. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. 
Oh my goodness! I was not expecting that pig! Oh my god! There's a pig! Oh, he's so beautiful! Oh. I was not expecting a pig to come from there. Oh, you've got chickens and everything. So well, they're all pregnant heifers, so we bring them on the other farm about three weeks before calving. We prepare them with the building, with the atmosphere, with the dairy, with everything. For yeah. well, heifers plus dry cows. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm right in the middle of them now. Such a gorgeous view. And we're feeding cows. Something we didn't say yesterday, over 80% of the cheese dairies are owned by us farmers. This is very important. We own the cheese dairy, we employ the cheese maker. Oh, and really? we sell the Comté to the Affina. Yeah, this is a fundamental part of one of the key of the success as well. I think, I think the key is getting this bit in the centre. Yeah, yeah. Learn that from you. <laughs> we checked fresh milk from last Thank night. You. Refresh to what temperature? Put the heads up as well. Uh, 12. 12. Okay. But studies have shown that stainless steel, we didn't in Europe the study is, but we didn't do. Yeah. Can give a bad taste oh. when you work with the elevation of the temperature. Mm -hmm. So it's why we have to use copper. Outside we don't care, but inside it's copper. The steam through the double surface, the steam you can see there, it's coming through the pipe. It warms up gently the temperature. 25 minutes to reach 26, uh, 56 degrees. Then another 25 minutes to stir. As a total, one and a half hours to make conte. How many liters of milk do you need to make one conte? It can vary from one cheese dairy to another one. Here, you need about 10 liters of milk for one kilo of conte. And then, under the cheese dairy, there is a pipe which goes on about three kilometers until the pig reef. So we'll yeah. the after. Too, too hot. Very hot, isn't it? Well, if Little Miss Muppet, if it was good enough for her, we're going to have a little tasting. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Okay. It's true, it's it's so Oh, it's really nice. It's really nice. With all the meat, just by gravity, all the curls went down. Ah. And Clément is going to operate the carousel. It's ah. going to turn here and on the left the over there. And he has to complete the mold. You can go over there and have a look. And he's going to add the certification for Mr. Conti. The identification. The green jetty. Easy. Yes. And I leave until tomorrow, the pressure. And tomorrow morning, I take off the mold, I return, and go down into the cave. Oh, it smells lovely. Before going to the cave, Conte comes here. We can start to to recover <laughs> from the heat and to cool down a little bit because it takes a long time. It's why they leave a circle to keep them 
Well shaped. Eight thousand conte they are allowed to make, not eight thousand one. If you want to make more, instead of paying about five euros, this green casein made from protein identification, we pay about seventeen times the price. So green casein label we buy from the committee board. One third paid by the farmer, one third the cheesemaker, one third the affiliate. You see those one this now has just uh, has just brushed with salt, coarse salt, thin salt water and whey. Yeah. So we have to form the rind. If we don't form the rind, it's dead. We cannot keep it. So, and, and the first 48 hours for that baby Conte, it's to take the salt. We didn't add any salt yet. And it's going to take about 80% of the total volume of salt which is going to come into the Conte. Knowing that Conte is a very unsalty cheese. The level of, of salt is 0.6%. It's not very salty at all. It's about 20 tons of Conte is manipulating every day. And he just he does that all by himself? Like this, every day. Amazing. For 20 years. Wow. Get closer and smell it. Look at it. Smell the right. Look at it. The color of the paint. Very important. The world's cutest kitchen. <gasps> More greasy the contain, more acid I use the wine. Mm. Mm. That makes sense. That does make sense. Balance. Put on one side and uh, have a look now. Up. Ah! Oh. 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 And some of that, chop it in. Does someone want to try this special? It's like a, a cake. Sausage cake. Yeah, he's ready to dress it up. That is amazing. Guys, blueberry. Oh my god, there's more. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. Thanks. Thank you. Please start to add coffee. One and a half years. You're at least 18 months old. You're going to be simple. Sorry. Butter cream with melts and turns into a milk. But it's also, the bag always splits on me. From the what? Vegetable. Vegetable. Dream is Which is like a big fort that Conte is matured in a cave. <laughs> The longest cave ever done for Conte, 214 meters length. 6,000 in one row, 6,000 Conte. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's going to be cold, yeah. Ooh. Wow. Did you press again? Oh my <coughs> god. Oh, careful, there's a step, guys. Yeah, steps, guys, steps. Oh. The first one here is one year old. <laughs>
As a total, we've got six rows with a total length of 130 meters. If you open the door, you have another 65 meters. 130 meters in each row. Okay, so it's all different atmosphere all year round. So it's a kind of disadvantage they turn into an advantage for the maturing of Conte, not having the same atmosphere all the time. Mm. And nevertheless, they use the atmosphere of the fort as being just next to the rock. And the rock, the original rock of the fort, is bringing some atmosphere. Yeah.